PR size instruction video. You need the handout to go along with this training video. Follow along with both. Remember on this video, you can pause, rewind, fast forward to any part you need. Uh, and this gives you step-by-step -step instructions on what to do for PR size. So we're gonna start with Finder. And we're gonna browse to our PR basic folder. It's alphabetical, PR basics. All right, and we want to then do a command N as in new to open up a new finder window. And we want to go to room 31, stock videos. And I want you to look for the homer.gif. Click, hold, and drag that in. You can see I already had it. So it's saying keep both. I'm going to say stop because I already have homer.gif. So I don't need it again. And then you want to find peewehermangif. Click, hold, and drag that over. And there it is. Okay. Then you're done with getting those two files in your PR Basics folder. Close those two, and you want to open up PR Pro down here, right? And when PR Pro opens up, you want to go and open up your PR Basics project. You don't need to create a new one. I'm just going to an ex the current project we've been using this last two weeks. And on the handout, they ta that takes care of the file management, takes care of the project to open, and now we're under Premiere Pro Sequence Setup, okay? So let's go ahead and let everything load in. Get rid of those. Just give us a moment. Give us a moment, please. All right. And now, uh, to add a new sequence, I'm going to go to File, New, Sequence. Uh, we want to keep this all ready. We're good to go with the ARRI, ARRI 1080p, and this last choice, 1080p 30. Down here, we want to change this to PR size. We're going to look at how to resize things so that they fit the frame, our 1080p frame. All right, so now I've got a new timeline called PR size right here, and I want to go ahead and file, import. And I'm going to get uh, the Pee Wee Herman and the Homer.gif, so PR Basics. So let's see, it should have Homer there. Hold down the Command key and get the Pee Wee Herman. Okay, there it is there. All right, so find those two guys in your PR Basics folder and click Import. Unless you already have them in your stuff, okay? Uh, now I want to get. Uh, one or two pictures from my photo booth uh, pictures. These could be your choice. So file, import, and let's see, go to photos. And it should open. You might have to twirl this open, go to photo booth to get it. So let me get a picture here. Uh, if it says movie, it's a video. That's the next item. Uh, but let's see, so let me get a picture here. These are all movies, photos, movies. Oh, where's the one I like? Okay, here, get one of Batman. I'm going to import that. And go get file, import. Maybe I'll grab a, one of those videos as well. Hopefully it's short. Uh, so again, I want to go to uh, photo booth, pictures. Uh, so maybe, let's see this one. Let's see. Hi, Mr. Jaffe! I got a mask on and birds flying around my head. Ha ha ha. Okay, good. Fine. I'll take that one. Let me import that. And then another go down the line, and it says I can also get one or two pictures from your Creative Cloud folder. So file, import, uh, Creative Cloud. So I can go get uh, either a video or, well, no, don't get a video. Let's go find some images. Uh, Let's see, what do I have got exported? What do I have exported here? You're going to have more choices than I do, I guess. I'm just going to scroll down until I find something that I recognize. Okay. I know I've got something here. Oh, how about LR, LR Basics? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me do this one. Okay, yeah. You guys... 
All right, so that's an, another thing. Uh, and then optionally, you can go get uh, some f photo booth videos, or you can go get some internet pictures or animated GIFs of your choice. Just make sure they're school appropriate, please. Okay. Now, uh, let's go. I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to editing now. My screen got changed, so let me fix this. I'm gonna go to Window Workspaces, Reset Saved Layout. There, that looks better. That's the way I want to see it. Okay, so now I've got these items, uh, and um, I just need to start putting them in my timeline. So let's go ahead and grab the Pee Wee Herman and put that in there. It's such a small, keep existing settings always. So it's such a small sliver there. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to zoom into the timeline so I can see these things a little bit better. Get it to about 40 seconds or so. Don't make this video too long, all right? Uh, let me go grab Homer and put Homer next to there. Uh, let me get that photo, put that there. Let me get this video, put that there. Uh, let's see, and here's this picture, put that there. All right, so those are the items I downloaded, but you might have some more than what I did, right? So as long as you keep this interesting uh, for the viewer, which is me, uh, that you could keep putting more things. Okay, so we've got all these things, and some of them are too big like this, and some of them are too small. They, none of them fit the frame size, the 1920 by 1080 uh -huh. pixel frame size that we're working on. And sometimes we might like to make sure everything is the same, especially when it, like this photo, it's too big. Okay, so this is how you do that. Uh, you want to go somewhere in the middle of each of the, I'm going to zoom in a little more, go somewhere in the middle of each of these images or videos, whatever it is, right? Each of these little pieces here, each of these elements in your video, right click over it, right click, and you want to find scale to frame size. This guy right here, click that. It will look pixelated. So that's what you give up. Anytime you have something really small and you expand it, it's going to look pixelated. But at least we can see it and it fits. Okay, and I'm just showing you. This is how you scale to frame size. Uh, it doesn't mean it's gonna look good. So you have to decide in when you're doing your own videos, do you want these to be zoomed in or not? Okay, but right now I want you to zoom. Oh yes. <laughs> uh, by the way, this actor uh, plays in uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. He's a voice of one of the three bad kids that have to go kidnap. Uh, Santa Claus, Sandy Claus. Okay, just just so you know. Um, anyway, uh, and he had his own TV show, kids TV show back in the eighties. Uh, now go here. There's Homer Simpson, and some of the same thing. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna left click on it to select it. Then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna scale the frame size. All right. Then I'm gonna go to this thing, this picture here, and I'm gonna right click over this one and scale to frame size. And don't worry if it doesn't fit. If it's that, so in this case, it fits top to bottom, but it's a different aspect ratio. It's not 1920 by 1080 is aspect ratio, so that's okay. So in this case, we have some dead zone on the on the sides here. That's that's quite all right for photos. You're going to get that. All right, I'm going to go over the video. Same thing. Right click, scale to frame size. There's that same gap on either side. So anything coming out of photo booth is going to do is going to be like this. Okay. Uh, then we're going to go to a photo that came out of our DSLR, much bigger than 1920 by 1080, much bigger. So we're going to right click on this guy, a set scale, frame size, and now we can see the whole picture. And again, we have the gaps on either side, it's not a problem. And that's it. That's all I want you to do with this. I just want you to know how you can scale to frame size using Premiere Pro, using different size elements to fit your frame size for your video. All right, and if anything needs to be rotated, uh, you can use uh, the lesson from the past and, or the, the, the skills from the past lesson uh, to uh, hopefully remember how to do that, right? Because you always have that, uh, those, anything that we've talked about already, you can start using on these videos. All right, so I want to click on, when I'm ready to export, I'm going to click on my timeline. I'm going to go up here to File, Export, Media. 
I'm going to go make sure this is H.264. Oops, I don't mean to do that. H.264. As long as it says H.264, you don't need to change it. Here, you do need to go to PRSize.mp4 and change this to the Creative Cloud if it's not already, right? And if it says Untitled Sequence or New Sequence here, please make it PR Size and then click Save and then click Export. And when it's done exporting, you're going to have the prsize.mp4 file in your Creative Cloud to upload to your Wix page, your video Wix page, and submit to this assignment in Schoology. All right, thank you very much, and good luck with this. Bye.